Welcome to Storytime today. I am Miss Jen and I work for the Sweetwater County Library System. Today we're going to be talking about something that if you haven't been able to tell by my fabulous outfit, we're going to be talking about rainbows. I know that I've talked about this a lot, but when I was a kid, they only let you pick one color, which I chose purple, the bottom little color. But my favorite color is all of the colors because I think they're all fabulous in their own way. One of the books we're going to read today is basically a song, and I'm going to read it to you in this book called Over the Rainbow. This song was in the movie Wizard of Oz, which is a great movie, it starts out black and white and then goes to color when it gets all fun. So let's read this one together, and if you remember the words, you can think of the song in the movie. Over the Rainbow, performed by Judy Collins. Over the Rainbow. <laughs> when all the world is a hopeless jumble and the raindrops tumble all around, Heaven opens a magic lane. When all the clouds darken up the skyway, there's a rainbow highway to be found. Leaning from your window pane to a place behind the sun, just step beyond the rain. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high, there's a land that I heard of once in a lullaby. Can you see up there? Somewhere over the rainbow, skies are blue, and the dreams that you dare to dream really do come true. Can you guys see the faces in the clouds? Do you guys look at clouds and find shapes? Because I certainly do. Someday I'll wish upon a star and wake up where the clouds are far behind me. Where trouble melts like lemon drops away above the chimney tops, that's where you'll find me. Somewhere over the rainbow, blue birds fly. Birds fly over the rainbow. Why then, oh why can't I? If happy little blue birds fly beyond the rainbow, why, oh why can't I? The end. Another story we're going to read today is Ruby's Rainbow. One of my favorite cartoons on Nickelodeon is Ruby and Max. Max doesn't have a lot to say and Ruby's always in charge. Kind of reminds me of my own kids, big sister, little brother. They are going to paint a rainbow but Ruby can't remember the color sequence. Do you know what color goes on top and what one goes on the bottom? Let's find out together. Ruby's Rainbow by Gossett and Dunlap. Max! Grandma's coming over, said Max's sister, Ruby. Let's paint rainbows for her. Here are a smock and beret. Outside, said Max. No, Max, said Ruby. You can't go outside. It's raining. Ruby began her painting. What's the first color in a rainbow? 
Ruby asked herself. Max, do you know, said Ruby. But Max was sneaking away to the kitchen. In the kitchen, Max put on his red boots. Max, where are you, said Ruby. Max was not in the living room. Ruby found Max in the kitchen. Going outside, said Max. No, Max, said Ruby. You can't go outside. It's still raining. But look, your boots are red, the first color of the rainbow. Come and paint, Max. Back in the living room, Ruby made a big red arc on her paper. Beautiful, she said. Max, how are you doing on your painting? said Ruby. But Max was not there. Ruby found Max in the kitchen again. He had taken off his beret and put on a rain hat. Going out, said Max. No, Max, Ruby said. You can't go outside. It's still raining. But look, your rain hat is orange, the second color of the rainbow. Let's go back to our paintings, Max. Ruby continued to paint her rainbow. She made an orange arc under the red one. Beautiful, said Ruby. Max, how's your painting coming along? But Max was not there. Ruby found Max in the kitchen again. He had taken off his smock and put on his yellow raincoat. Going out now, said Max. You can't go outside, Max. It's still raining. But look, your raincoat is yellow, said Ruby. Yellow comes after orange and the rainbow. Let's finish our rainbow paintings. Too far. <clears throat> Back in the living room, Ruby painted a yellow arc under the orange one. What color is next, she said. Max! said Ruby, but Max was not there. Ruby went outside to look for Max. He was in the backyard. He was wearing his red boots, orange hat, and yellow raincoat. Max, said Ruby, you can't play outside in the rain. But the rain had almost stopped. Look, said Max. In the sky, there was a beautiful rainbow. A real rainbow, said Ruby. Green, blue, dark blue, and purple. The next colors for my rainbow. Come on, Max. Let's go finish our paintings for Grandma. A little while later, Grandma came over. Max and Ruby each had their rainbow painting for her. Rainbows, said Max. Beautiful, said Grandma. You got the colors just right. The end. Have you ever wanted something of your very own? I would love to have a rainbow of my very own. This book is about a boy who loves rainbows too, and he imagines them following him around and how he can get one all on his own. Let's find out what happens. A Rainbow of My Own by Don Freeman. A Rainbow of My Own. Today I saw a rainbow. It was so beautiful, 
that I wanted to catch it for my very own. I put on my raincoat and hat and ran outdoors. Fast as the wind I ran. But when I came to where the rainbow should have been, it wasn't there. I thought maybe some rainy day a rainbow will come and stay a while. I'll be walking along slowly and suddenly I'll hear a soft whirring sound like the wings of a bird. I'll look around and see. A rainbow following me. I'll know by the way it circles and whirls, it wants to play. So I'll hop over my rainbow and my rainbow will leap over me. I'll climb up one side and slide down the other. <clears throat> my rainbow will make a peacock fan for me to walk in front of and a hammock for me to swing in. We'll play a game of hide and go seek. I'll shut my eyes and count to 20, then look all around. If I were a rainbow, where would I hide? In the flower garden, of course. Rows of flowers look like rainbow. Suddenly, the sun came out again from behind the rain clouds, and my pretend rainbow disappeared the way real rainbows do. But when I came back home, I saw something glowing inside the window of my room. And when I ran indoors, there was a rainbow dancing on the wall. The sun was shining through the water in my goldfish bowl, and it made a rainbow just for me. Can you see the sun coming in and it reflects the rainbow? A rainbow of my very own. The end. This book is called Rainbow Stew. Has anybody ever told you that you need to eat a rainbow? That is talking about all the vegetables and the many, many colors they come in. I say many because rainbows have lots of colors. Can you think of vegetables that come in lots of colors? What color is a tomato? Is it red or green? I've even seen purple tomatoes. Vegetables can come in many, many colors and they make the best stew. So let's read this together and think about yummy vegetables. Rainbow Stew by Katherine Falwell. Rainbow Stew for Katie. wiggle, sniff, and giggle, we scramble from our beds. Papa's making pancakes for his favorite sleepy heads. We love to visit Grandpa. It's always so much fun. He lets us play outside all day so we can jump and run. Whimper, sigh, cloudy sky. Is it too wet to play? We don't want to stay inside because of the rain today. Grandpa smiles and says to us, I know what we can do. 
let's go and find some colors for my famous rainbow stew. Splish, splash, puddle dash. We bounce right out the door. We're off to find some red and green, some yellow, orange, and more. Grandpa shows us how to move between each garden row. Lifting up the drippy leaves, we see what colors grow. Drip, drop, shake, and hop. Here are lots of greens, spinach, kale, and cucumbers, zucchini, peas, and beans. Do you guys like green vegetables? Hmm? I love cucumbers. We find some yellow peppers and a purple cabbage head. We tug on rosy radishes and pop them from their beds. Slip, slide, squishy stride. We snip off red tomatoes. We dig in the dark, wet dirt and pull up brown potatoes. See, he's digging a hole. Did you guys know they grow under the ground? We jump around like grasshoppers and buzz about like bees. We creep along like ladybugs and all got muddy knees. Can you see them? <laughs> Pull, pick, gather quick. We need more for this stew. Grab some orange carrots and purple eggplants too. See carrots and eggplant. Our basket's full of colors. We park it by the door. Our clothes and boots are dripping, making puddles on the floor. Grandpa helps us wash our hands and dries our soggy hair. It's almost time to cook, he says. Go find dry clothes to wear. Peel, slice, chop, and dice. Colors fill the pot. Stir in herbs and water, and then wait till it gets hot. Grandpa says he's proud of us. We're such terrific cooks. While the stew is heating, we have time to read our books. Howl, yowl, tummies growl. We're a hungry bunch. It's time to serve up heaping bowls of rainbow stew for lunch. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, look in the window, there's a real rainbow. The end. Thank you for coming to join me today at Storytime and learning about my favorite thing, rainbows. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and can point out all the colors you see from the rainbow. Bye.